Welcome back to this War of Mine Fading Embers DLC. Let's resume at the very beginning of day 20. I don't remember what we actually got last night. I think it was decent stuff. Looks like we can speak with... Wait, Saron? Oh, I think we spoke with Saron at the end of the last episode, didn't we? How are you feeling? I was afraid this trip might be bad for your health. Don't worry, Anja, I'll be fine. Wait, no, that is Ruben. How about you? Hope you don't regret your decision. Well, it's certainly overwhelming at the moment. Leaving home, moving in here, and all the challenges still ahead. I think I need more time. Get some rest, Anja, you deserve it. We've had this conversation before. This is the conversation we had back when we first got here. I think. But we've been here for a while, Ruben. Odd. Bio, day 19. Had another visitor today, a trader named Taros, who was selling some regular stuff, but he was also suspiciously interested in some documents we have. We've learned about something that brings hope for all of us. Apparently, some people are trying to escape from the city. We should try to reach them. Maybe we could help evacuate kids using those tunnels. All oh, right, we learned about the a rumor of tunnels being used to escape the city when we went to the orphanage. Right, we said we could check out the area because they couldn't because there was only the one adult looking after the kids at the orphanage. But next night, assuming we can go out, we're definitely going to go check out that lead. So that's the thing we're working up towards. Also, I remember that Melina said that they're going to try to find somebody who has a truck that can help us move because it's not safe here anymore. Not that it was ever safe since the war came, but I guess it's particularly unsafe. And I mean, the whole freaking building's kind of falling apart. So, also working to secure all of the stuff. As everything gradually collapses. You are very hungry. You need to eat. And maybe get into bed. Maybe speak with Zaron. You're tired. Tired. You're not tired, so you're definitely not sleeping. You, Anja, why don't you go sleep? Actually, let's speak with Zaron and then sleep. The museum's been hit again. We need to hurry up with our work. Don't worry, Zaron. Together, we should be able to secure all the items in time. Thank you for your help. I wish I could do more, but I'm not as strong as I used to be. You've dedicated so much to this museum. It'll pay off one day. You'll see. Yeah, you sleep. Let's start to secure more artifacts. Where do we have more things that need to be secured? We got all the ones on the top floor. Actually, what does need to be secured? I know these joists are going to collapse, but that's not a work that needs to be secured. We might actually be okay. I still don't know if I should try to reinforce the ceiling just to... I don't know, I guess to keep other artworks from being in danger until we leave? Like, am I just trying to buy us as much time as possible, or should I just let them crumble? There's a lot of things to support, and I don't have very much wood. Like, can I even do one? I can't even do one. I have zero wood. There's no point. Alright, you'll go stoke the thing. You can work on some food and stuff. What about outside? Do we have new piles out here? No, we don't. That's all our fuel. <sighs> I'm going to either need to break down some art or break down components into fuel. We need fuel. Let's burn our books. What's more important, burning books or components? Let's burn the books. Ah, oh, that feels bad. Now we can max out the heater. That's great, but we still need fuel for cooking. I guess I'll just do some components. Let's do it. This will be able to make me able to make a bunch of food. See if we have any new quests down here. Actually, let's get working on that food. Ruben, you can go check the quests. Help children at the orphanage. 
Mm-hmm. Ooh, the collection to the main storage. Another four collapsed last night. Yeah, last night was the night before this last night. That was, it was two nights ago at this point. It's the 20th. Get the truck ready for evacuation. We need to think of a way to secure the exhibits outside the building, but first, some kind of transportation is required. Melena has a plan to use some of her contacts and find us the necessary vehicle. So we don't need to do anything about that right now. We can't do anything. So Ron, why don't you get some food? And then Anja needs some. They're very hungry. Oh, we're slightly sick. Ruben is. So have them take some herbal meds. You're 100% good. You should get some food and also sleep. You're slightly wounded, also tired. You should get some more food as well. Let's make another batch of food. We'll give one to Anja and one to Ruben, and then they won't be hungry at all. Yeah, that's really all I can do for today. And you know what? I have four bandages, so I shouldn't be stingy with them. This slight wound doesn't seem to be going away, even though it says recovering when we're in bed. So let's just take a bandage. Let's make sure it doesn't get worse. And then we can just pass the day. Uh, oh, we're not even sleepy anymore. So, Ruben, you can go into bed. And then end the day. There it is, railway station. That's the place we have to check out. Uh, yeah, Anja's gonna scavenge, of course, as always. Ruben's slightly sick and still tired, so they'll sleep in bed, and Zron will guard. With that big knife they have, that kitchen knife. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. I hope they don't have guns. Adam from the orphanage told us about this place when he asked for help evacuating the children from the war zone. He heard rumors that a group of people were working there to dig a tunnel out of the city. Maybe they could help us? Some food, some materials, some meds, lots of parts. Ooh. Oh, did I have the stuff to make more lockpicks? I should have made more if I did, because I think I've used them all up. Yeah, I have no lockpicks. Well, as far as I know, there's no trading there. So I guess there's no reason to take anything, really. And no danger, so no reason to take a weapon. Yeah, let's go. The last train left a long time ago. The one that was supposed to follow was bombed at the station. I don't think I really need two, but it seems like a pretty good item, maybe for trading. It's certainly not common. Man, just look at this place. Look how bombed out and destroyed it is. They did such a good job with the design of these levels. Yes, lots of wood. I want all of that. Ooh, what's down here? There's a lot down there. Canned food? Heck yeah. I think a stack of water would be nice. Parts I'll dump. Components I'll dump for food. Before I go down, let's check out over here. Oh, there's so much to this place. Enough for at least one more loot run, maybe two. The people trying to dig a tunnel must be underground, of course. So they're probably down there. Ooh, that stacks. Some more wood. And then I don't have anything to open up these bars. I'm sure there's good stuff in there, though. 
Okay, let's go down. Oh, so much wood. Okay, I will dump almost anything to make room for this wood. Definitely components. I don't know if I'll dump a mixer. Weapon parts, yeah, definitely. I don't want almost a full stack of water. I don't want to dump that. Mixer seems like a pretty good trade item. I don't want to dump food. Yeah, this, this seems pretty good. I'll leave vegetables, though. That's fine, I guess. Is it fine? I don't even have a garden. Do I want to dump a mixer to make room for a vegetable? I don't think I do. I think I'll get more value out of that trading it. Ooh, looks like people live here, definitely. Some candles. More food to stack, heck yeah, more water. This place is wonderful. What do we got going on back there? Nothing. I'm a little bit worried about the fact that I haven't found any people. Bandages. I have a lot of bandages, but also they're good trade items, if nothing else, right? Probably a better trade item than a mixer. Ooh, I think there's somebody there. have like an assault rifle but I think they're just a guard I mean of course they would want to have somebody armed here trying to protect them doing this what if Grozny soldiers came they're not gonna shoot me want me to identify myself who the hell are you don't shoot I'm from a museum I just want to talk I don't give a damn about what you want get lost Give me just one minute. You're digging tunnels, right? You want to get people out of the city. I'm warning you for the last time. Stop snooping on us. I, I want to make you an offer. Please, hear me out. I don't make the decisions around here. Then, could you take me to someone who does? Damn. Alright. But I'm warning you. One stupid move and you'll never see the sun again. Who's this? Sir, someone from the museum urgently wants to talk with you. That's alright, Gorin. I'll take it from here. Sorry about Gorin. He can be a bit too eager. Uh, tell me, what brings you here? I'm looking for a way out. <laughs> Who isn't? Not for me, for the children. They're orphans, and they won't last long in this city. Children. Who wouldn't help them, right? I guess we could smuggle them, but... But you want something in return. Correct. You live in the Pagorn Museum, right? I've heard of many precious things kept there. But there's one in particular. If you're talking about the Battle of Leech Swamp... Oh, hell no. How would I smuggle you through the tunnels? But the Sefer Al-Zahar Manuscript. Now that's the real jewel in your museum's crown. Ticket to safety. Although not many know about its existence and even fewer about its meaning, the Sefer Al-Zahar Manuscript is probably the most valuable item in the whole of Pagorin. 
It survived countless wars and has a long and wondrous history. If you bring me the manuscript, I promise to help you smuggle the children out. Oof. I might do that. I didn't want to do the picture book for the children. But this? Hmm. Bring the manuscript to me and I will help you. Damn. Why do you want that in return for smuggling children out? Why won't you just do it? Like, come on. Oh, hold on. Um, I think it's about to become daytime. It's 4.10. I think I need to leave, like, really, really soon. Oh, I can leave here. Okay. Not much time left. I must go back. But let's talk with them first. Months of planning. Weeks of work underground. And now that we're finished, you just want to jump on board? I'm sorry, I want to save myself? Why are you so selfish? Let's get out of here. We've been raided. Someone tried to rob us. They weren't very determined. None of us were wounded. Attackers didn't steal anything. Okay. Seems that Zoran is starting to feel a bit unwell. It's alright. We've got medications. Ooh, we got the truck. Hey, everyone. I found a truck. You really did it, Milena. We have a chance now. We must get on with the evacuation. The situation in the city is getting worse as the army is moving closer every day. Are you saying we have to leave now? Again? Not yet. We must prepare first. Pack everything and... This truck is a mess. We have to fix it and find some fuel. And what next? Do we know where we're going? That's the worst part. I'm still figuring it out. But for the time being, we need to get as much as we can on our truck. Okay. What do I have to do to get stuff on the truck? Like, do I need to do something here? Nope, this is still just all of our stuff. We should talk about the Zafar Hazohar, about the offer. I'm sorry, Anja, but for me, there's nothing to talk about. The manuscript was protected for decades. Many risked their lives for it. And it can help us in saving others. Those are kids. I'm not going to stop you, Anja. But the day you take the manuscript from here will be the last day you ever see me. Ooh. It's a hell of an ultimatum. Everybody's popping up with dialogue just talking about different things. Do I need to secure more things up here? No? It all looks okay. Even though this is breaking, this up here apparently is fine. Okay, let's get making some food. Stoke the fire. Is there any more stuff outside? No. Ruben's slightly sick. Why don't you get some herbal meds? Zoran is slightly sick. But we don't have any meds for them. Hungry, hungry, hungry. We finally have some wood. But I'm going to have to make a bunch of fuel. So some of that's going to go bye-bye. So this thing here is apparently how we fix up the truck. So what do we need exactly? A little bit of components and canister with fuel. I don't think I've ever seen canister with fuel. 
Where do I get that? Do I have to make it? In this, truck engine improvement. I need car engine parts. Where do I find that stuff? Is there like a old junkyard we can go to? It's possible I just need like fully upgraded workstations to make that sort of stuff. I don't know. Oh, hey. Let's make some more lockpicks. Should I make four? It's kind of over the top, isn't it? Let's make two. And you know what I'm finally going to do? Make a second bed. We can take turns, but when there's nothing to do for most of the day like today, I want to be able to have multiple people in bed so they can all recover and get rid of their tiredness during the day rather than wasting the night to do it. Two lockpicks made. Two people resting in bed. I don't think there's anything more I can do for today. Ah, oh, petrol station. New location. Okay, that's definitely where we're going to get the fuel, obviously. It doesn't list any danger. Although the whole district has been heavily shelled, the petrol station is in surprisingly good shape. We might be able to find the parts necessary to fix the truck there. It's been looted as badly as all the other businesses, but people were mostly after food, cigarettes, and booze, not vehicle parts. Awesome. Okay, um, Anja is going to go out and scavenge. Unfortunately, their tiredness didn't disappear because they didn't get that long to spend in bed. Slightly sick, but on meds. Since Ruben is on meds for their sickness, I'm going to have them guard. And Zeron is not on meds and slightly sick, so they will sleep in bed. I can't really have two people sleep in bed during the night, because then I won't have a guard. So let's grab our two... Lockpicks. I think that's it. Petrol station seems abandoned. Oh, this place looks so cool, just visually. Wow. Something down there. Could be a rat. Could be a not dangerous person. It didn't say there's danger here, so I'm going to assume it's fine. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. Is there a car engine on the roof by any chance? Don't want to drop anything to make room for that. Let's drop the shell casings. Can you jump over there across the roof? No. You gotta go around. Oh, that must have been a rat. I didn't see... Yeah, it's just a rat. Um, six water would be nice. Let's dump some components for six water. I don't think I need the herbs. I have a bunch. I don't have a farm, so I guess I don't need a fertilizer. Ooh, another bandage. Another good trading item. Let's dump the electric parts for that. that. Maybe that houses one of the really good things. Hmm. How much wood do I need versus other stuff? I've actually gone through quite a bit of my components. But I have a decent amount of parts and I still do need wood just for stuff in general. Fuel. Maybe I'll dump another thing of components to make room for some more wood and then I won't take any more wood than this. Fridge, probably food. 
Ooh. Oh, that's a good amount of water and food. I need to take the raw food, if nothing else, but maybe both. Let's come back to this after I loot this thing, because this probably has something I really need in it. Oh man, there's so much stuff. Guessing the fuel or the engine is in here. Mm, no, surprisingly. But there's a heat lamp. I could eventually use that to make a... Um... A garden. Hmm. This is all pretty good stuff. Well, not really the roll-up cigarette and weapon parts, but I'm especially looking at the two things of pure alcohol. That's a good trading item. Book's pretty nice. The heat lamp's pretty nice. Um, ooh, I'm not going to be able to take everything I want. Okay, I have a lot of bandages. I'm going to dump the bandage. I don't think I need that many components, so I'm going to dump that to make room for the heat lamp. And I'll leave it at that. I guess I'm not going to take any more food then. If I find another locked thing, I can free up a spot. But then, of course, I'm probably going to replace that spot with something that I found in the locked thing. Mm. It's fine. It's fine. I'll come back for the food later. It's not like I'm desperately hungry. Oh, this is the trunk of a car. That might have the fuel. Yes, and it has fuel in it. There's even a hatchet. That's a weapon. Or something we can use to chop furniture? How does that work? Oh, that probably just allows you to deconstruct things like chairs, right? So you can probably get back less than you put into making a thing if you're really desperate. Not something I think I'd want to do. Well, obviously I need the canister with fuel. That's a given. I'll dump some more components for it. What about that engine, though? Are we going to have to go somewhere else for that, or what? Oh, so much wood. There's nothing more to this place? Have we gone up here? Can you go up there? Anja acts like they can, but then they can't. So the engine definitely isn't here. There's nothing I left unlocked. Or locked, rather. We're going to have to find somewhere else. We're going to have to find a new location. I can't wait to go back there, though. It's so lucrative. I was calm. Whoa, who's that? A Groznian soldier in our museum. I hope this day would never come. Colonel Markov, I'm looking for the person who runs this place. I suppose that's me. Are you here to destroy our museum? The last remains of our culture that we've managed to save from you. Don't worry, I'm here to talk. Besides, if my superiors knew I was here, I'd be in as much trouble as you. And you expect me to believe you? Do you know what orders were issued to our troops? Destroy all traces of Iceni culture in the city. It's true. The army wants to wipe out everything of any significance to your people. 
Are you proud of that, Colonel? Did you come here to brag? I'm just stating the facts. I'm a soldier, and I understand the cost of war. But destroying a whole culture? The precious monuments built by generations? Would you mind walking me through the exhibition? I don't feel like I have much of a choice. Oh, but you do. There's always a choice. This is bad. I still don't understand why you keep coming here. I can help you. I'm your only way out of this city. You see, my troops are stationed on the road out of the city. And I guess using it isn't free. Everything has a price. This one is well worth paying. So what's your price, Colonel? The Battle of Leech Swamp. You must be joking. What would you do with the most precious Vicinian painting? I know people who will pay a lot of money for it. And what's stopping you from just taking it right now? My superiors want this place burnt to the ground with all its contents. I can't just take it. I'm being watched. But if we're clever about it, we could both benefit. As I said, there's always a choice. One painting to save all the rest. Think about it. I'll see you soon. If the military is looking for this painting, I have to hide it. Oh boy. Good idea, Melena.